Varus. Oh! Quintilus Varus, give me back my legions! Welcome to the Battle of Teutoburg Forest. This is one of the historical battles in Rome too. It's set in 9 AD, uh, and this is where the Romans come in for a bit of a shock at the hands of the barbarian warriors of Germania. I'll be playing as the Romans, trying desperately to shepherd my men through one of history's most amazing ambushes. Defender, hold on! The barbarian tribesmen have been lying in wait and they've hit us pretty hard right out of the gates. What you're seeing here is wave after wave of light troops smashing into the Roman column and retreating back into the forest. Basically, they're trying to whittle us down over time. But this also illustrates just how sudden and devastating ambush battles can be in Rome too. So what we're trying to do here is keep order and repel these early attacks. It's super important for the Romans to maintain formation and not get strung out. It's about strength in numbers. Here you can see just a few of the multitude of combat animations in Rome too. Cavalry charges are a real high point as they punch through the enemy lines and send men flying through the air. The new tactical map lets us jump up to a kind of satellite view and see the whole battle at a glance. So we're going to grab these unengaged troops here and issue a move order to get them back in the game. OK, so we're moving out of the initial ambush area and we've just a bit more resistance to punch through to get to the next area. As you can see here, I'm using the unit camera a lot to lock my view to the legionaries and watch those charges up close. You get a real sense of that frontline experience and what your men are really going through. As we push out into this clearing, you can get a sense of just how much work we're putting into these environments. The battlefields in Rome 2 feel so much more alive and real than anything we've made before. With tons of variation in vegetation and terrain and, and just a more epic sense of scale. So I'm getting the sense that the peace and quiet of this wooden glade isn't going to last. We need to work fast and get our men organised for whatever's about to happen next. At speed! So we've got archers up on the hills and another horde of angry barbarians wading through the swamps towards us. They're obviously building up for another big attack. Orders! Melee cavalry ready! You have orders, sir! Riders! Forward! Melee cavalry! Aid us! Riders! Move out! Spears ready! Advance at speed! Melee. So it looks like the Germans have brought some friends with them here. Now, warhounds aren't tough. They're easily dispatched, so they don't stick around very long. But they're a pretty unsettling first strike weapon, and their running speed makes them great for running down routing troops. All through battle sequences such as this, you can hear lieutenants barking orders, soldiers yelling in shock or surprise, and generally bellowing to each other. Uh, these bits of dialogue just, just really help to put a human face on these, on these thousands of soldiers and really bring the scene to life. 
So it's high time we turned our attention to these archers on the hill. I like cavalry waiting for orders and they're the perfect counter against archers, so let's send them in. All right, so our cavalry are in real trouble here. This line of spearmen charging out of the woods here is really bad news. We're just going to have to leave these guys to their fate. So the pennies dropped a bit late for our general, Quintilus Varus. He's just realised that he's been betrayed by his own lieutenant, Arminius. Varus! A cursed coward! Push forward while he distracts the enemy! And he's chickened out, um, rather than face the music. But rather conveniently, he's leading the German cavalry away from our forces. So he's kind of done us a favour here. Right, we really need to get these troops moving towards the forest exit, but there's still more resistance to punch through before we get there. Um, as you can see from the, from the tactical map here, there's a token defense of archers and melee troops. It's nothing too fearsome, you know, on their own, they're not that tough, but this constant abrasion is really starting to wear at the Roman army. One of the formations that the Roman legionaries can adopt in battle is the testudo, or tortoise formation. When they place those massive rectangular scutum shields edge to edge, they make a brilliant defence against arrow fire. When they get close enough to the enemy, they'll bring their shields down and charge. Come on, arrows! Look to the rear! Berserkers! OK, so we've managed to fight off waves of light units so far, but this is where the barbarians deploy the heavy guns. Berserkers are seven-foot walls of muscle. They fight hard and fast, and in these kind of numbers, they're going to punch through our troops like a wrecking ball. I'm actually going to sacrifice a couple of units here as a human shield to buy the rest of my army some precious time. Okay, we're on the final run now and we're beginning to lose manpower in earnest. We've got to get these guys moving and fast. As you can see, we are totally surrounded. No time for fancy tactics here. We've just got to try and pound through these final lines of defence or the berserkers are going to have us for dinner. My glory to Rome! Uh, well, thanks for watching the Battle of Tudorberg Forest, and we'll have more on Rome 2 for you very soon. Thank the gods we made it out of that infernal forest. May Nerio give strength to those we left behind. 
What about Varus? No one knows. Even fewer care. Arminius! No! 